All right, hey, so uh, I don't know if anybody watched my previous video, but I showed what generator I'd be using for my backup power for the house. Um, got this shed all built, finished it the other day. Came out pretty good. Saw a bunch of videos online on YouTube and got all the ideas from mixed videos. But uh, <clears throat> first thing I did that I didn't see anybody else do was paint the fan, the attic fan I went with. Everybody has it as the uh, natural color that it comes with, steel color. I uh, ended up painting it white. I feel like it gives it a cleaner look. Um, I went with the Suncast Shed, the smaller one, the uh, 34 cubic feet. Um, got it on sale, not bad. Went with the uh, plastic vents in the front, two of them, and one big one on the side for the intake. Uh, I went with plastic just because it was a little cheaper. Um, you don't got to worry about any rust or anything happening with it. I, uh, I like the way it came out. It matches the house pretty good. Next to the AC unit. So, came out, came out nice. For now, I uh, kept this solar panel. All I did was um, I just duct taped it on the roof for right now, just in case I decide to move it. There's no holes drilled. And I uh, ran the cord right through the back, up and under the, the roof, which works out fine. And I um, ended up doing the exhaust. I piped it out. I got a, uh, a screw-on flange that I did inch and a half galvanized pipe. And I uh, self-tapped the flange um, right to the heat shield of my generator. It's going to be hard to see. I'll try to show it to you. But yeah, it's all pretty much hard piped in there. A little, little spout. And I did the uh, hardy board. So I got a one foot by one foot piece of hardy board there. And I didn't really need to do it, but I got one on the other side. Sandwiching the wall together. <clears throat> so... So far, all the tests I ran with it works great. But yeah, I really like the white fan. Matches the vents, matches the stone, matches the porch. Just clean look. That's what I'm going for. Um, here's where the cable comes out of my house. I've routed it along here. I was able to get a... Uh, I think it's a hundred foot piece of uh, outdoor rated 6.3, which is nice because I could run it anywhere in the yard to bring it out to the woods if I had to. But um, all I did was a, uh, I just took a face plate, put the center hole, knock out, and I just uh, zipped it into the wall and ran it through. See how long the face plate lasts for, it's plastic like I said, but uh, I don't know how the weather's gonna treat it. If it snaps, it was only like 60 cents. So maybe I'll go with a metal one once this breaks. See how it goes. But uh, I'm gonna open it up. There's the generator. Cabela's brand, really made by Champion. But it's the uh, 9,000 running watt, 11,250 startup. So it's plenty big enough to run my house with uh, pretty much everything I need. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep the, cast, the gas tank in here or not. I just put it in there for, for right now. But here's the... Uh, the pigtails I got whipped to the battery for the solar charger. Here's the cord for the uh, 
the attic fan. That's the uh, the funnel for the oil change, which I need to do. I still got the break in oil on this thing. I only got about nine hours on it, so. <clears throat> but uh, just went for a nice clean look. That's the power. That's the cord for the uh, solar panel. And here's where the uh, cable comes in. Just got a loop to the frame, up off the ground. And um, one thing I I meant I didn't mention was to change the oil. Um, I know that uh, a lot of these have just a, a drain plug, but this one has a a hose that comes out of the um, the. Uh, where the oil comes out has a hose and you just unclip it and drain it into your pan which I think is pretty nice you know um, it runs up into there you just pretty much unclip it and gravity feed it out I think it's uh, a nice feature so got the 50 amp uh, plug on here um, I'm able to keep the battery on at all times and uh, it, uh, I keep it on the on switch because it has the remote control. So I'm able to start it up right inside the house, which is nice. So that's the fan where it plugs in. Got the extra slack wrapped up. Looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. Um, so here's the uh, exhaust. Bear with me here. <clears throat> so all I did was I took this flange right here and uh, the holes that were provided with the flange, I just took self-tapping screws and zipped it right into the heat shield. And uh, it was pretty much a perfect fit. There's a little space between the actual exhaust and the, um, the the pipe itself but it does a really good job of getting pretty much all of it out um, there's the other hardy board that sandwiches the wall and uh, I'm pretty happy with it I got a little piece of hardy board on the ground right there um, just for heat for the floor but uh, yeah, I don't know. I like it. I'm happy with it. I just noticed these screws right there I gotta grab. But looks good. I like it. Let's turn it on. I didn't go for any soundproofing or anything like that because I'm not really concerned about it. I'm not on top of neighbors, so they're not going to really care. Um, so, but it does muffle the noise a little bit. Let's start it up. The attic fan it takes like, I don't know, a minute to come on automatically. I'm not sure why. Um, but it does end up coming on. But it does muffle the, muffles it pretty good. See, there it goes. It came on. So, that was, that was pretty good. I'm happy with it. The only thing I gotta get, I gotta get a lock. Um, I don't really need it, but peace of mind.
pretty sweet. I'm happy with it. I definitely feel more comfortable knowing uh, if there's any powder outages in the future. We'll be all set. So I'll just run through to where I have it wired. <clears throat> That's where it comes through the house. That's the extra slack on the outdoor cable. And then uh, junction box into uh, where it splices into the 6.3 indoor cable. It's that black cable. Runs through the basement. And then uh, into where my panel is, through the man cave, which is an absolute disaster right now. <clears throat> and there it is. Got it uh, labeled with the stickers that came with this interlock switch. I got this off Amazon. Um, I have a Challenger panel, and all I did was just type in interlock kit for Challenger uh, panel. It's the first thing that uh, popped up, and it fits perfect. Um, can't have uh, the main or the generator on at the same time. Serves its purpose. I did uh, generator instructions just for uh, if my wife is home and I'm not and the power goes out between the remote start and these general basic easy instructions even she will have no problem getting power um, so I just I labeled big stuff dryer the range uh, hot tub jacuzzi tub uh, dishwasher and the central air um, we're not going to run any of that really don't need to um, but everything else in the house all the lights all the plugs uh, we have a gas stove top so we're still able to use the, the stove top microwave I have a stand-up freezer in my garage alongside another fridge freezer next to it um, and our main free, uh, refrigerator slash freezer in the kitchen those are all going to be running. Um, I got my furnace. It'll run my furnace. I have oil. So it really doesn't draw a lot for to run the furnace. So the heat is uh, nice to have. Um, you know, I got a newborn. I got a one-month-old son, two-year-old daughter. So with uh, everybody being home and all the food and just safety of being warm, you know, it, it, it's a must have to have some sort of backup power um we looked into a uh standalone unit um to run the whole house and it was just out of our price range so um i think i think this is the best way to go you know you don't need to break the bank you can work on it little by little it ended up uh took me about a month to finish everything um, I had my buddy come over and help me wire this up just to make sure it was done the right way. Um, and, uh, I mean, I could have done everything, but it was just peace of mind knowing just to make sure. Cause I had to, um, I had to make some room with these, uh, double breakers here to make room for the generator, pan um, breaker to fit. So he came, just did that for me. Um, which I really appreciate. And, uh. Other than that, that's pretty much it. So, with the push of a button, flip of a switch, you got your power back, which is great. So, um, I want to thank everybody who made videos online for their systems, who uh, helped inspire me. Um, and uh, hopefully, if anybody watches this, um, maybe this one will help them. So, I don't care. If you leave a comment or not, but uh, enjoy the video. All right, be safe.